Okay, here we are, NAMM 2012. We're at the Universal Audio booth, and we're standing here next to Amanda. She's been kind enough. Uh, they're really busy here because they're showing off their new high-resolution interface uh, called Apollo, and we're going to get a little bit of information about that and hopefully uh, uh, find out some good stuff about it. It sounds like they're doing a demo in the background, so you might have a little bit of audio conflict, but uh, apart from that, here we go. All right. Hi, I'm Amanda, I'm the communications manager at Universal Audio, and I would like to introduce you to Apollo. It's our high-resolution audio interface with real-time oh, no. UAD processing. Now what that means is it has UAD processing inside the audio uh, interface. Um, first off, the Apollo like audio interface, it is a really pristine, clean sounding audio interface. It's got the best converters, the best preamps, um, it's got 18 by 24 uh, analog and digital I.O. So that includes eight line inputs, two direct input JFET DIs. Um, it's got word clock, ADAT, SPDIF, and all the good things that you would want in an audio interface. Um, the sound of the actual preamps are very clean because the coloration comes with the UAD plugins that are built inside. Now if you're not familiar with UAD power plugins, these are the best analog emulations of analog gear out there. So we're talking the 1176 compressor, the LA-2A, all these amazing UA, uh, UA preamps and compressors from our, our heritage, as well as uh, thing, uh, tape emulations from Studer, reverbs from Lexicon, um, all sorts of consoles like the Neve console, EQs, anything you need for mixing and mastering. Our tradition of DSP and plug-in processing has been mixing and mastering, but what's so great about Apollo is that for the first time you can track and, and record with these plugins in real time. The latency on this is sub two milliseconds. That's basically indiscernible. This is really a feat of our modern technology, our hardware know-how and our software and DSP know-how. Um, it also comes with Thunderbolt I.O. option card. So this allows for Thunderbolt connectivity, which is the future of, of um, latency-free, uh, bandwidth-free uh, issues. Uh, so the Thunderbolt option card just fits in the back of the slot, and that's an add-on to the Apollo interface. So you'll be also able to probably add on other DSP? Yes, you can. For example, our satellite, you can daisy chain that into the Apollo interface. So that gives you even more DSP processing power. The advantages of the DSP processing power inside Apollo and the satellite, so that means your computer an doesn't do any of the work. You saw, it's not so you can you do all your mixing, mastering plugins and leave your computer and your DAW for doing other out. such things um, in the mixing, mastering, or recording. Um, so it's it's a really powerful, powerful piece. Uh, the uh, there's two versions well, that comes in. It. It's a duo, so I'm those are two two shark processor chips, or you can have a more powerful a with four so processor chips, and that's for the plug-in processing. Right. So the duo costs 1999 at right street here. price. For the quad, interface. it's twenty four ninety nine. That's also it's street price. Are they bundled with any uh, uh, packs? It's yes, and it comes today. with our Analog so Classics bundle. So when you purchase Apollo, you get the eleven seventy six ELA two A. Poltec EQ and more plugins to track in real time, record, mix, master, deal. all that stuff right yeah. out of the box. So if you want some more of our uh, our other plugins, are available for purchase through our online store. And what's, what well, when, when's it hit the street? It's going to hit the street in March. March. Yes. It, and it's also uh, Mac and Windows compatible. Excellent. So it was good. One cable. All right. Well, hey, here it is. Universal Audio, the Apollo. Go check it out.